welcome to our new vlog series here at Baldus Horsemanship. We invite you to follow along as we look at different three-year-olds and two-year-olds and just what we're doing every day training these horses here at Baldus Horsemanship. We hope you enjoy and look forward to more episodes. My first priority is getting my hands on this colt and helping him understand that I'm not here to hurt him and I'm going to build his confidence. I'm going to get my hands on him and just rub him on his neck, across his withers. First, standing in a place to stay safe up by the front of his shoulder, rubbing his neck. And then we'll rub down his leg, underneath his belly. This colt's taken it all pretty well, so I don't have him haltered. If he were acting real, real wild, I'd halter him first. And these colts, when they go back to the ranch, they're going to be roped out of the remuda, so it's important that they learn how to be roped and how to submit and give to that pressure. So we work on helping them find the release of pressure by coming to us. After they've been roped, they'll come into us and then go ahead and reward that. It's like this colt licking his lips and relaxing. He's learning after he's been roped to come to me to find that release of pressure. Like for these colts, the cowboys, they're going to ride them probably in a snaffle or maybe a lope and hackamore style nose band. So we like to go ahead and put the snaffle on them now in the second ride starting to softly and slowly teach that colt how to give to the snaffle bit pressure. So he's prepared for that when the cowboys get him. Everything we do in the first five days is prepare them for what the cowboys are going to do and prepare them for what the rest of their life is going to look like. And if we can lay a foundation to help that colt be confident and happy doing his job, the cowboys are going to get along with him really good. As I reach down for my cinch, I start up high on his neck. And I keep my left hand on his neck. I'm rubbing down his belly all the way underneath to pull my cinch. And by always preparing that colt for what's going to happen next, it won't scare him as bad when it happens to him. If we just reach underneath there and grab the cinch and pull it to his belly, it's going to scare him because he hasn't had pressure there yet. He doesn't feel that. So it's really important to always be preparing them for what's going to happen next traveling with the pressure of our hands from the known to the unknown. So they're comfortable with your hands on their shoulder. Start there and then travel down to your cinch. Even here as I reach for my back cinch, I'm going to start with touching my saddle pad first. Saddle pad, belly, and then all the cinch hobble and bringing that back cinch over to me with one hand where I can safely secure my back cinch. Now that my saddle is safely in place, it's lightly snugged up, not very tight. I don't want him to feel trapped or claustrophobic. I'm going to tie my right rein up, so I just focus on my left rein. And then I'm going to grab my flag and ask for just a couple of soft, slow steps at first. Not one to turn him loose where he runs and bucks. I don't want to build negative habits. I want to teach him to softly and slowly step away, just like that, just a couple of steps, and then turn in and face me again without taking off and bucking at the saddle. And just like that, see him licking his lips and starting to relax. Now I'm going to move back in and pet him on his neck, moving slow from the known down to the unknown, moving my saddle on him. You see how loose my cinch is? I'm going to snug my cinch again. During this second saddling, I try to snug my cinch three or four or five times, always going really slow with it to help them keep from being cold backed or cinchy, starting softly and then just slowly tightening it up. Good. Now that he's kind of dropped his neck and just relaxed, I'm asking him to trot. He's using a verbal cue first. I'm just going to ask him to turn and face me as I draw his nose. Good. Really good. Here we 
again. This will be the third time I'm going to tighten my saddle. So now I've got it closer to where I'm going to ride it. Pretty snug now. Stepping back, asking him to go forward again. Starting off with a verbal cue every time first. The verbal cue and then the flag. The verbal cue is the only cue that's going to carry over to being in the saddle because my flag won't carry over to the saddle. There won't be someone in the middle of the round pin moving me. I'll have to use a verbal cue to ask him to go forward. his hind quarters away from the flag pressure. Good. Good. And then come in and just desensitize him for a minute to the flag. Just rubbing him with the flag until he's licking his lips and starting to relax. my cinch, preparing him to ride. He's getting desensitized to my flag all over him. He's handling the pressure of it waving more, moving more. I've increased my pressure, my energy is taking that well. side of my flag. Anything you do on one side, you have to go and do on the other. Making sure their bodies are even and you're crossing to each side of the colt so he sees you have his right eye and his left eye. Yeah. Okay. Once we go through all that groundwork that you just watched with Ben, just four steps to prepare these colts for us to get on. So I want to be able to jump up, up and down right here right by their side wiggle the saddle back and forth and feel that pressure moving a little bit. Get used to us jumping right here just like we're going to do when we put our foot in the stirrup. That gets them more used to us jumping right here and get them ready to feel that weight when we step up in this left stirrup. We'll be able to keep moving. Pat my saddle. Rub all over their hips right here. If my foot does drag across this colt's hip. It's not the first time he's felt anything touch him right there. Put my foot in the left stirrup. We'll step up on the side like this. Keep petting him. I want to keep moving. I want to keep petting him on the neck right here. I don't want to hang out too long just in one stirrup. I'm going to step down right here and keep petting him. Step up again. I might reach over and pet him with my other hand too. So he feels me rubbing on both sides of him right here. Just like he's going to feel when I'm sitting on his back. Whatever I do to this left side, I'm going to yield his hindquarters around right here. Whatever I do to this left side right here, I want to go over and do it to the right side too. Same thing. Jump over here, jump up and down. Let him feel me move that saddle on him. Make some noise. Rub on his hip here. Set him on the neck. Rub on his hips. I like to rub.
run my foot up and down their leg a little bit too, just so they'll, if my toe does touch them about right here, again, it's nothing new to him, he's felt that before. Put the stirrup right here. And I'll kind of let that be the release where I kind of get up here in the, stir in the stirrup. Let that be more of a release for it. So you want to push the hip into me, so I'll step down. Yield his hind quarters away. There's a lot going on for him front and behind, so I'm not going to fight him too hard there. Well, let's go back and do it again. That was better. Still want to go back every time I step down right here, both sides. Be able to pick that, pick that rein up and move his hind quarters away. sneak across him when I do get on. When I go to swing over, I want to go ahead and swing my leg over and put my foot in the stirrup. If I, if I get up there and I linger halfway on, halfway off, it's going to make him more nervous. So I don't mind, just go ahead and, once I commit, just go ahead and get on. Get up here, just keep moving, keep my feet moving. Rub his neck, rub behind my saddle. Just letting him know that all this is okay. Just like in our groundwork, I want to, when I get up on the saddle, I want my first step I take with this colt to be slow and smooth. I know Ben talked about that in his groundwork over there. Just one step is all I was asking for. If he takes two or three, no big deal. pressure, quit pulling. He gives me that right turn, then I'll release. Let him keep going. Uh, got a little nervous, so I was trying to pet him through it. Change direction, just change his mind. around here.
start making my cluck mean a little bit more there. So if I cluck and he doesn't go, I'll kind of reach back and slide a little bit. Just let him know every time I cluck, I want him to move his feet there. been on him now we've walked and trotted both ways I kind of carried my flag with me up here so that way if I needed to help move him forward I could use my flag to encourage him to go forward always first give him that verbal cue and then swatting with my flag a little bit I'm gonna slide down this left rein bend him to the inside and ask him to soften his face to the inside as he comes to a standstill. Being light with my hands, waiting on him to soften. There we go. Good. Give him that release of pressure, petting him when he softens up. Getting a little bit of softness both ways. Good. Just helping him to understand to soften both ways that snap a bit, how to soften to it. A little bit wider with my hands so you can feel it. There we go. Good. Good. I'm really happy with how this colt's taking it. I'm going to step off and then we'll give him a ride outside in a bigger area where you can lope back and forth. We'll put all four horses out there together so they kind of have a herd instinct to go together and it'll help them move out. They won't be as worried about us sitting on them as much as they're thinking, just move out and travel, go with their friend, and follow the horse in front of them. I'm sitting on a uh, Kathmandu out of the 24 mare, and they're, they're branded on their left shoulder with the mare number, and on their left hip with their stud number. It was all from the Wagner Ranch. This is the second ride on this colt. I'm just finished up, about to get ready to turn them into a little bit bigger pen with the other colts. Uh, so far, I've really liked what this colt's shown me. He's been quiet, he's handled everything how I'd want him to. Uh, moves out well. Uh, pretty soft, big, strong colt. So uh, he's shown me everything he can to tell me that he's ready for the next step, and that's just let him out of this small round pen, give him some more space to move to, and and have him move out a little better. used it like this to where they want to go with each other and they want to move out together. Even using one of these three-year-olds like this as a pony horse helps to get this horse broke to the flag and broke to other horses around him and just desensitize them and get them more broke to everything else. Like, see, this colt, this is good for him to help him to relax in different circumstances and understand pressure and the flag. And sometimes he's going to have to go with him and move him, and sometimes he's going to have to stand still and help him to relax. But it'll just help this horse mature and grow up. And now I think our colts are ready to ride. Yeah, maybe you don't want. Oh, oh mine are chasing yours. <laughs> Got some good video. Yeah. Ben went to flagging as I was halfway in the stirrup. And mine's like, okay, guys, I'm coming. I know. Mine's a little cold bass out here. No, mine's going to have nightmares now. Mine's still in there. Buttery soft. So proud of you, AJ. They're <laughs> <laughs> so happy for you. <laughs> I just want to give y'all comfort. Now we're good. <laughs> Locked and loaded. Let's do it. Good move. Good move. Good move. Yeah, point it that way. <laughs> Get jumped, dude. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, dude. We're going way faster than I wanted. Turn it left. Turn it left. Don't crash into me. <laughs>
this now a couple times. We've got so much practice. Feel way more comfortable this year. <laughs> yeah, way more comfortable. Yeah. Way more comfortable. So the coats are easy. You're doing a good job with them. That's awesome. Good boy. Yeah, I think that's awesome. Was pretty terrified from last year. Yeah. <laughs> but this is their second ride. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Very for, good. For you know, just a couple days of halter breaking and their second ride. I don't think we took any of them out of the round pin the second day last year. change directions and keep him on the same side. Oh, oh, success, success. You did it! Yeah, this is how I work my three-year-old cow horses. I teach them to circle using a bronc for the second day in the round pen. I'm just kidding, I don't do this, but it's working out pretty good. Teach him to bump into the shoulder, full contact cow horse, leaning in on this other horse. Ooh. He's not ready to stop yet. I offer him to stop to him, he's not ready. This year I stayed on him. Last year I was not quite so lucky. And you'll want to have a big pen. Yeah. I don't think I got two that was going to try. No. Yeah, sure do. What is it? I think I got two that tried bucket tomorrow on the big pen.
pretty feeling in this whole flag here. You see, you got rid of your weapon too soon. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.